Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video on the perfume tag and sorry about that. Um, I've been really ill inspired lately just because like every day is the same mundane things. So it's very hard to be creative while doing that. It's just like very hard, but I kind of like forced myself to film a video today. I feel like very in the mood to film. I just don't didn't know what. So I found this thing called the perfume tag. I wasn't tagged by anyone I just am doing it I don't give a fuck I'm not part of the game but you know what? I'm still on play so simply put let's just get started the first question I believe is what was your first perfume you ever purchased and I still actually own this perfume like right here it's the hello kitty baby perfume and it is well over 17 months old i got this i think when i was the age you are in between sixth and seventh grade i believe that's 12 12 or 13 i think it was 12. it smells so good it smells very youthful exactly what you would expect like in 12 year old to wear you could actually wear this they still make it if i i would wear this myself i haven't sprayed it in forever i only smell it through the bottle just because of how old it is I I mean, like I'm 22 now so it's like a 10 year old bottle I don't know if it would like do anything but I think I sprayed it once throughout these years that like it was really old and it smell it like kind of has like a sticky um, feeling to it so I don't really like that the reason why I keep it is just for sentimentality sake obviously I used to love Hello Kitty when I was in middle school like I was obsessed with Hello Kitty I was at Hello Kitty for Halloween I would have Hello Kitty lunchbox I had Hello Kitty everything like anything that could be Hello Kitty was Hello Kitty for me I just loved Hello Kitty. I needed a Hello Kitty perfume. I was in Paris, France, and I was sick to my stomach because I drank coffee for the very first time at 12, and it was French coffee, and I didn't eat anything with it, but I really liked, smelled, so I went in and I saw that they had two Hello Kitty perfumes. The other one was super fruity and sweet. It literally made me want to gag. Don't know if it was that bad, but like I was already sick to my stomach, so like did not help. And then this one right next to it was just sitting there and I smelled it. It smelled amazing. It didn't make me feel even sicker. I just, I needed this perfume in my life. So it's kind of funny that this was the only perfume that I bought in Paris. And the next question is, what's your signature perfume? My signature perfume is Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Her Perfume. I talked about this in my last video. It's just a very peppery vanilla. I see myself wearing this nightly when I'm going out. And obviously on hotter days, I'm not wearing this during the day. But I can just see myself wearing this in the autumn as well. So it's been one of my biggest signature. Like I see myself gravitating towards this one the most of all of my perfumes. Yeah, this is my signature scent. The next question is, what's your most recent perfume purchase? And I also talked about this in my last video. This is Britney Spears' private show. Absolutely delicious. It's just a sweet, I would say that it's kind of like a coffee cake smell. It just smells like coffee, sweet vanilla, anything that makes coffee cake good. It's put into this perfume. It's really, really nice. If you like spicy sweets, I highly recommend, especially for the tag price. It's $9.99 at TJ Maxx, at least where I found it, or it's 20 bucks regular, so you might as well get it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next question is, what perfume would you wear at nighttime or a date night? And I actually have two perfumes for that. This is La Petite Robe Noire by Guernon. And this is their Entrance version, so their blue bottle, if you collect them. It smells absolutely divine. It's cotton candy, I believe blueberry. That's why it's blue. And it just has all of these very intense fragrances that make it really sensual and seductive. But I must say, I've been wearing this quite a bit when I go to bed. It's just very comforting to me it makes me think of nighttime it makes me think of when the sun's down so I think it is very seducing but at the same time it's not so much that I feel a little too sexy going to bed it is definitely nighttime but it's very much too seductive for like a bar it's either like you're going to bed and you want to feel yourself well, like not that way but like you want to like mentally feel yourself like you want to feel good about going to bed if that makes sense yeah <laughs> 
it's just really good for like bedtime or date night and then this has been my go-to date night since high school so it's also quite old <laughs> i don't know why i'm like making fun of myself for having the hella fake perfume when this is probably about like four years older so like it's still six years old but it smells so good it smells as good as it was when I bought it. It lasts as long as the day that I bought it. It doesn't have that like sticky feeling. It's definitely from a higher quality perfumery than the Hello Kitty perfume. Sorry, Hello Kitty. This is Sage Luton La Fille de Belen. And this is just one of those fragrances that I love. Like it just smells so good. I wouldn't really recommend wearing this on like a first date. This is definitely like white tablecloth, Italiano, dinner or something like that. It's, like it's it's just very high end and it's very rosy. It smells like deep dark red roses. It smells absolutely amazing. So you don't want to wear this on your first date because it is very intense. It's very intense for one and then also it's just like it's very rosy. Some people are allergic to it. I have a friend if I ever wore this she would literally she would know I wore this because this there was a time where this was my signature scent and it didn't matter what I was doing or where I was going I was wearing this like even if I was just going out with my friends in high school like what the hell am I doing wearing this in high school as like a signature scent I don't know but there was a moment where I did and she hated it because she was like very allergic to the rose scent I know many people that are allergic to the smell of roses enough to the point where they like get very strong headaches so I wouldn't really wear that on a first date because it, it could just be like a huge turn off for the guy and he doesn't want to get close to you or anything and it's not anything to do with you, it's more what you're wearing as a perfume and even if it smells good, it can still give a headache. Just know who you're wearing this for before you wear it because it's super sexy and super seductive but it can radiate a bunch of roses when some people don't like that. But it's one of my top favorites. The next one is what's your favorite spring summer perfume? I feel like I've talked about this so many times, but this is the Old Larimar number 75. I wore the heck out of this as much as anyone can a perfume during COVID. Like anytime I possibly could wear a perfume, I just feel like I always, always, always gravitated towards this. This was just what they call like a dummy perfume. Like you don't even have to think about it. Like I just saw it and I grabbed it. I just feel like I wore this perfume all throughout summer. I couldn't really say anything about spring if I, I'll like it in springtime, but I do definitely think that this is a top, top fragrance for me when it comes to the summertime. And then the next question is, what's your favorite fall slash winter perfume? And I have two for this one as well. The first one is Laura Mercier's Eau Gourmande in Creme de Pistache. They actually discontinued this one, which I have absolutely no idea why. It is very, very intense of a fragrance. It's super strong like if you've ever had pistachio ice cream you would know what I'm talking about it smells just like that it's a very strong flavor uh, that's why I love it it's not like your typical vanilla fragrance for the winter time Laura Mercier has two other ones that are vanilla and vanilla amber I like vanilla amber best it has a uniqueness to it and it's a little bit stronger this one if you can get your hands on this from like eBay or fragrance net or like wherever sells like discontinued perfumes whether or not this is popular this is to die for every single winter during Christmas time I always 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 wear this I've had this for quite a few years and I've only used this much but that's not really saying anything because I can put this on like I'll do like three spritz and like I still smell it two hours later you know what I'm talking about like when you spray a perfume like two hours later everyone else can still smell it but like you can't because you're just so used to it I'll get whiffs of this two hours later because it's so strong but it's not like a fin if that makes sense. It's just a sweet gourmand fragrance and I'm very disappointed that Laura Mercier got rid of it because it's one of my favorites like in my top top favorites for the winter time and then the second one for the winter time is this one that you can only get at like certain boutiques or online and this is Olo's Dark Wave and it's a perfume oil this is nine milliliter perfume oil and it was like $40 but the thing is since it's a roll-on and it's so strong because it's a 
perfume oil. Like I've had this for about a year and a half and I've only used this much. I need to stop being so picky with it because I can tell that it's slightly changing from the smell that I got it, but it smells in a way that's like it's the same essence and I would still wear it and I still do wear it. Like I can off wait until it gets warmer so I can start wearing this. It smells like a campfire to me. Like there's no other way to describe how this smells except for a campfire. It smells like sweet burning wood, like Palo Santo and like such amazing fragrances that you would have in your house but I just like it on my body as well. It like sweetens on my body so it smells just like a sweet campfire on me and what's more warm and inviting than that during the winter. Highly, highly recommend this fragrance. All right, and then the seventh question is what's your favorite scent category? And so that means like fruity, floral, fresh, oriental, or woody. And I would personally say woody. I very much like woody fragrances, but we're gonna go to Sommelier de Parfum, and I think it says what I like. Yeah, so it says that I like floral, then fruity, citrus, woody, and sweet. So if you guys haven't checked out this app, I'm like not affiliated with them at all. Clearly, I don't have that many subscribers, so there's not really anyone that I can affiliate with that's like huge, except for the two perfumeries. But this app is absolutely amazing. You just put all of the fragrances that you own into this, and then it comes with this like web of notes. So you have green, citrus, animalic, woody, spicy, floral, fruity, sweet. Review your profile, and it just says you like the following facets. It's likely that you'll also like these scents. It seems that I very much like floral fragrances because I have quite a bit of rose and jasmine and then vetiver, but vetiver is not a floral, so. So it seems like even though I would say woody, it's in my top four. My number one fragrance category is floral. The next question is what perfume are you currently lusting after? And I'm gonna go show you another website. This is Fragrantica. It's best app. Like you can see your digital perfume closet. Oh shit, what did I just do? So it shows you your perfume closet right here. Perfumes you have, perfumes you want, and perfumes you've had. So perfumes that you no longer have, but you've had in your like, previous years. Currently, I'm lusting after 17 perfumes, so that's quite a bit. But one I guess I'm lusting after that I feel like I can get sooner or later is Black Perfecto by La Petite Robe Noire Guerlain. And it's just this beautiful black bottle and it's leather, cherry, almonds, roses, and quite a bit of like what the original one is except for leathers in it. So it kind of makes it more of a bit masculine. So I really want to try that. That's the one that I'm currently lusting after the most. And then the next question is, what fragrance cologne do you like on your significant other? I don't have a significant other. I will not have a significant other in quite some time. I just don't see it happening anytime soon. But it's also in my lusting after because apparently it's very unisex, but it is technically a male scent. This is Luna Rosa Sport by Prada for men. And it is vanilla, lavender, ginger, juniper berries, I believe. Yeah, juniper berries and tonka bean. Quite a bit of men love it and so do women. Like, there's barely any votes from women on this fragrance, but there's a ton of votes from men. But the reason why I even know it about it is because of this female perfume YouTuber and she bought it for herself. And I was like, that sounds really freaking good. Whomst ever is my loved one better wear that because it smells so good. I just wanna, like, I wanna wear it. I wanna wear it. <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for all of my perfumes. I have them all laid out here. You can't really see all of them, but I promise you they're all laid out. Looking all pretty. If you guys liked this video, let me know down below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can see you in the next one. Peace.